guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a product review for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And uh, this is the product I'm going to be reviewing. It's called iPower. It is a backup battery for the iPhone and iPod Touch. But it also works with all the other iPods because they do have the same USB port. And now I'm not only going to be reviewing this, I'm going to give one away. Because they actually sent me another one to give away. I'll give you the information on the giveaway of this battery at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Now, since they sent me two of these, they actually came in two different colors. One we have uh, is black, and the other one is white. I'm going to be keeping the black one for myself because I like black. So this is the one we're going to go ahead and open up. When you open it up, it does have, it has a little magnet right here, so it's a cool little case. Right, let's open it up, and then this is what you see. We've got the battery, and then you have this USB cord. Personally, I would buy this thing just for this USB cord because if you bought a USB cord from Apple, they're expensive, just like everything else you buy from Apple. And this USB cord is better than any other USB cord. It's an actually, it's not, it doesn't plug into the iPhone iPod Touch USB port, uh, but it's a regular USB port cord. Except it does this, and then you pull it out, and it goes right back in. A little USB cord and something like that. It's amazing. I love it. Seriously, I would buy this just for the USB cord. So let's go ahead and get into the battery. Uh, first off, let's show you how big it is. Uh, this is my iPod Touch second generation. If you've held one, you know how big they are. So this is a comparison of size. Uh, as you see, it's barely thicker than the iPod Touch second generation, which is extremely thin. But the battery is amazing. It fits in your pocket. I love it. Uh, so that's it compared to the iPod Touch second generation. And then it, actually, if you hold it up to an iPhone first generation, uh, it is about the exact size of it. So that's awesome. Now it comes. It has this little lid case thing. You just pop off, okay. And then in, in inside, you see a USB port. I'm sorry, USB port, uh, which is where you're going to plug it in to charge it. It you just plug it up the USB cord. That's what this USB cord is for. You plug it into there, and you plug it into your computer or something like that. And then we have the on and off switch. This is where you turn the battery on and off, and then this light will come on, so you know it's on. And then let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's show you. Plugs right into the USB port. If I can get it in there, and there you go. As you see, it's charging. It stays in pretty good. I mean, I would be careful about hitting it because it would obviously break off like any other thing would. But I extremely, extremely recommend that you pick one of these up. If you're like me, your battery on your iPhone or iPod is terrible. My iPod's battery is a little bit better than my iPhone but it still definitely definitely comes in handy i'm bringing this thing everywhere with me because my battery will be dying and i'll need stuff to do on my iphone or something like that and this is extremely helpful say you're a businessman and you use your iphone for business or something like that and you got a bad battery this would be great to pick up because it extends your battery life music for 40 hours video for 10 hours and calls up to seven hours and if you don't know apple even says that you probably will have to replace your battery after i think it's like two years of using your iphone now, why would you go pay Apple for their expensive battery, send it into them, get them to replace it and all that, when you could just pick one of these up? It's easy, it's small, and it's rechargeable. Say you're going on a trip somewhere, you want to play games on your iPod the whole way there. Okay, what if your trip's 20 hours or something like that? Your iPod's going to die. Okay, plug this in, it extends battery life. So if you'd like to pick one of these up, I do recommend it. You can get these on wirelessinput.com. Uh, there's a link in the video description down there. They're priced at $59.95 compared to Apple's price, which I just looked up, is $80 bucks plus $6.95 shipping and handling. So you're definitely going to be saving some money, and I would probably say you're probably getting a better battery. To learn how you can win this, you're going to have to visit the link in the description of the video to the right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Don't forget to rate five stars and favorite. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys later.